Hi guys, welcome to another Mod Spotlight and today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the Twitch IRC mod. Now this is a mod that um, a guy called IGB Clutch has written and this is a mod that right now is on uh, updated for Minecraft 1.5 uh, I'm currently using Minecraft 1.51 and the mod has now been updated to uh, use or to work with, should I say, uh, Forge and also the, the new uh, MCP mappings, which should mean that it um, should automatically work with future versions of Minecraft. Um, or that's the theory at least. Uh, I think inevitably there there may be some point down the line when uh, it will need to be updated. It won't work automatically, but you know, for the most part, it should uh, should update should work with new versions. So you won't have to wait for this mod to update um, quite as much as some of the other mods, perhaps. Um, so the nuts and bolts of this mod, basically, what it will allow you to do is it will allow you to bring um, the chat from a Twitch channel into Minecraft so that you can um, interact with the stream from inside your game. Um, now the way that we actually connect this up, actually before I get onto how you actually um, configure the mod in game, the actual installation of the mod, it has changed if you've installed this mod before, um, it used to go into the jar. Right now because it's been updated to, uh, to use Forge, uh, this now goes in the mods folder like any other mod, um, which which makes it much easier to install, um, because installing jar mods can be can be a little bit daunting for for newer modders. So uh, mod folder, fantastic improvement. Now to get to the option screen to actually configure this and get into game or get the chat into game, if you press T, that'll bring up your chat window. And right now you can see that we are talking in Minecraft because um, we haven't connected up to a channel yet. Uh, Twitch chat is on, although because it's not configured, we don't have the option to talk anywhere. Um, so if you click on the little button down there, that brings up the main IRC mod menu. Now if we work this from uh, top to bottom, and I'll talk you through what each, each section does. Fairly straightforward, nothing too complicated, but let's go into the IRC connection bit. Now this is where you set up your connection to um, to chat. So the username and password that it wants here is your Twitch um, username and password. Now the mod doesn't store, well, I'll say it doesn't store any of these, it doesn't use these details for anything other than to connect you to the IRC channel. So if I put my name in there, uh, that's my username on on Twitch. Uh, my password, which I'll throw in there as well. Now, what you'll notice is that it's coming up asterisked out. Now, my password isn't seven asterisks or eight asterisks. It's not eight asterisks, I assure you. Um, that would be a good password though, wouldn't it? So basically what you can do, that means that you can connect this up while you're streaming without worrying too much about giving your password out um, which is is always handy because sometimes things go wrong or you forget to actually install it in the first place uh, the channel is the channel that you actually want to connect yourself up to which for my channel is Quincy now if we hit connect that will say down in the bottom corner there Twitch is disconnected why is it not connecting? There you go, it's connected. I was obviously having a little bit of a problem there for some reason, uh, but it is connected now. Now, we have a button here to choose to keep the login, these details here or not, uh, keep the channel info or not. You can toggle these as you please. Um, if you hit the open channel button, you can open it in your default browser or uh, copy that URL to your clipboard or just cancel out. Handy if you haven't got it open. Now the channel stats, currently I'm not broadcasting. If I was, that would say live, 
say what game I'm playing, how many viewers I've got, how many uh, are watching Embedded, and also the video size and bitrate that I'm broadcasting at. And you have a handy little refresh button there uh, to update that. And as it says there, it will only work if the stream is broadcasting. Now, uh, the other bit we have down here is a viewer list. Now, right now there are a few people in the channel. Um, I'm, I'm not broadcasting, but you do end up with a few people hanging around. Um, so, it says this is a work in progress. It's really buggy. It, to be fair, it seems to work okay for me. Um, presumably, though, if you get a really long list or something like that, it may bug out. Uh, obviously, it's still being worked on, but it's, it's there at the moment. May uh, actually feature more prominently in the future. Um, underneath that, well, that, that's all the IRC connection stuff taken care of. Um, so you can always just go in there and see your channel stats of your list or whatever. Um, block users, uh, this is client side only, so it won't actually. Uh, work to block them on Twitch as a whole it will just block them inside um, your Minecraft chat um, basically you just throw a, throw a nickname down there and it will stop their stuff coming up in uh, in game and you can add let's add source bot to my block list um, or we could remove them simple as that so you can just add and remove as you choose uh, also you have nicknames um, so you can set a username here and the bot and you can basically what that will do is that will replace their chat um, with the nickname pretty simple and I'll just show you how that works now if I want to talk in in chat um, I just need to hit this button and that will toggle between where I'm talking and I'm now talking to which I see now because Sourcebot is a bot I can get Sourcebot to say something and it should come up I'm hoping if Twitch uh, is actually behaving Twitch isn't actually behaving let me uh, that I don't think I think it's got right. I think it's it's actually still got source bot blocked for whatever reason. Um, so let's actually add let's add Lone Star to Star. Add that as a nickname. And I can just say, hopefully, Lone Star is going to say something and just show up as Star. There you go. Um, so it just basically allows you to uh, change someone's nickname in chat as it shows up in game. So if somebody has, say, a particularly offensive name that you don't want showing up, you can rename it as you please, which is really useful. Um, Let's go back into the settings. So that's the nicknames part. Let's just remove these. Um, and obviously, Sourcebot is either not working or just got blocked. I don't know. Uh, Twitch IRC, or Twitch chat has been a little bit uh, inconsistent with <laughs> actually accepting the different messages. Uh, sometimes it eats lines and all sorts of things like that. So... Um, now, if we go into the settings, what we can actually do is we can configure exactly how this, uh, how the messages show up. Um, so there's various different styles, and you can pick whichever one you fancy. Configure how how this shows up, and the colours, and the username colour, message colour, and that little star there is the moderator icon. So you can see Lone Star is one of my moderators. Um, so you can change what colour that shows up as. And you can say well, cancel, I'll just cancel. You can also turn on or off the Twitch prefix. So 
that is really if you're if you're playing single player you may not want that twitch um, prefix on there if you're playing on a server you may want it there just to differentiate easily between what is server chat and what is uh, chat in your chat room so that's there for that you can also change some of the colors for that prefix as well and then URLs you can change how they what color they come up in uh, you can also choose to block or allow them as you choose uh, so that is the chat settings um, other than that you have the credits so here we've got IGB clutch as the or oh, it's GP clutch I guess it's GP clutch um, as the author and various other people that he's crediting for the, the logos and the IRC library that he's he's used and Twitch of course now there is an easter egg if you're interested um, if you click on the credits the title at the top there you get a little cap face which will of course you'll be familiar with if you are a regular on the Twitch site um, so there you go that is that's the Twitch IRC mod. Now you can also toggle off, on and off, the chat from showing in game as well. And switch between Twitch chat and Minecraft chat as you please. What more could you ask? Very easy mod to use. Uh, loads of options there. And there we go. I hope you have fun with it. Um, please hit that like button if you've enjoyed the video. And make sure you follow me here, Twitter and Twitch. That would be fantastic. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.